Hi, I'm John from Laguna Tools, and I have some new tech tips for you on the handheld controller. The first one item we're going to cover today is on jog speeds. On your handheld controller, you have two jog speeds. One is the low jog speed, and you can tell on the 1Z line, if it says LSP, that stands for low speed. And if you push the high-low button, it now goes to FSP, and that stands for high jog speed. Say you want to increase or decrease your high jog speed. Well, if I'm in FSP, I hit the stop cancel button one time, it brings up my fast jog speed. And you'll see on this example, that it's set at 7,000, 5,000 for Y, and Z is set at 2,000. And I can easily change it by pushing the Run, Pause, Delete button one time and enter my new number. And here I'm entering 5,000. Once I get the number enter, I push the green button OK, and that's all that's to it. If you hit the green button OK again, it will bounce you back to the manual screen. Again, here we're in FSP, and I'm going to change that to your low SP. Now, the low SP, if I hit the stop cancel button, it shows you my slow jog speed, and this one is set at 1,000 for X and Y, and Z is 500. You normally want to set your Z considerably slower because it's on the ball screw for all, whether you're running an IQ, Swift, or a Smart Shop one. Give you an idea on ranges, on your fast jog speed and IQ, the maximum is right between three and 4,000. And your Swift, somewhere between five and 7,000. And the Smart Shop one, you can run over 10,000. And that's covering jog speeds. You can actually transfer files directly from your PC or laptop onto a handheld controller. This becomes useful sometimes when you're having a hard time reading off your USB and you're having a hard time copying files onto the handheld controller from the USB. To do that, you disconnect the 50 pin cable from the machine, bring it into your next to your computer, have your AB USB plug, sometimes referred to as a printer plug, plug it into your computer first and then hold down any two buttons on your handheld controller and then power up your handheld controller. When it powers up, it will show flash disk mode. And it will show up as a drive, and the drive number will be exactly the same as the model number or serial number on the base of the back of your unit. Here it's A022-1784. And on my computer, there it is. So you can delete files directly from there, and you can drop them into there. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna grab a file and drag it into here and copy it over. And there it is. So now it's copied over directly onto here. And you can delete them the same way. You can just click on a file there and hit delete. And it's asking me, do you want to really delete that file? And it's gone. And that's it. All this information I'm giving you is only will work on the A11e controller. How do you know which controller you have? All you gotta do is read the bottom of the tag right here and it should normally say like Rich Auto, Auto Now, A11e. If it doesn't say that, like if it says something like 501, most of this will not work. That's the older model controller and most of those settings will not work on your handheld controller. And that concludes our tech tips for today. For more tech tips and tutorials, visit our website, lagunatools.com. Thank you.